Before we dive in, it's important to set the ground rules. The OSINT tools we're about to discuss are powerful, and with great power comes great responsibility. These tools are designed for ethical use only. Think security professionals, researchers, and educators who are working to make the digital world safer for everyone. Using them for malicious purposes, like stalking, harassment, or unauthorized surveillance, is not just unethical, it's illegal and can have serious consequences. So as we explore this fascinating world, remember, knowledge is power, but it's also a responsibility. Today, we're pulling back the curtain on the hidden world of digital footprints. Let's get started. Here are the 10 most unsettling OSINT tools that, in theory, could track you down piece by piece, using nothing more than the digital breadcrumbs you leave behind. First up is Maltego, a data visualization powerhouse. Maltego starts with a single detail, like an email or name, and builds a web of connections, people, companies, domains, social profiles. It turns scattered data into a clear, interactive map, revealing how everything links together. Security pros use it to uncover hidden relationships and potential vulnerabilities in digital infrastructures. For privacy, it's eye-opening. Your scattered online info can be assembled into a detailed portrait. Maltego doesn't just show data points, it tells the story behind them. And that's just the beginning. Meet Spiderfoot, the automation engine of OSINT. Give it a target, domain, IP, email, and it scours over 200 data sources, building a comprehensive profile automatically. It finds emails, usernames, breached data, server details, and more, fast. For companies, it can reveal forgotten servers or misconfigurations. For individuals, it can link anonymous accounts to real identities. The automation means anyone can use it, no expertise required. Spiderfoot's thoroughness is what makes it so powerful and a little scary. It's not just about finding data, but connecting it all together. Imagine what someone could do with that much information. Reconang is the command line Swiss Army knife for OSINT. Built in Python, it lets you create workspaces, add modules, and chain tasks, like finding subdomains, emails, or vulnerabilities. Its modularity means you can customize and automate complex investigations. Security researchers use it to map assets, gather contact info, and uncover sensitive files. It's less about flashy visuals, more about raw, efficient data collection. You can even write your own modules for new data sources. Recon Ang is systematic, scriptable, and highly effective, making it a favorite for deep reconnaissance. In the wrong hands, it's invasive. Shodan isn't a search engine for websites, it's for devices. It scans the entire internet, indexing everything connected webcams, servers, smart devices, even industrial systems. Shodan reveals device types, software versions, and sometimes default credentials. Security researchers use it to find vulnerabilities. Attackers could use it as a directory of targets. You can filter by location, organization, or device type, exposing everything from open databases to critical infrastructure. Shodan is a stark reminder. If it's online, it's discoverable. The Internet of Things is vast and often unsecured. Shodan maps it all. The Harvester does exactly what its name suggests, gathers emails, names, subdomains, and IPs from public sources, pointed at a domain, and it scrapes search engines and social sites for every mention. It builds lists of employee emails, subdomains, and job titles, perfect for targeted attacks like phishing. The Harvester automates tedious reconnaissance, showing just how much is publicly available. It's not about hacking, just collecting what's already out there. For organizations, it's a wake-up call. Your public data is a goldmine for attackers. OSINT turns public info into actionable intelligence. Imagine a tool that quietly follows your digital footsteps, piecing together your life from the traces you leave online. Creepy is one such geolocation tool, designed to map your movements using the information embedded in your social media posts. With just a few clicks, it can reveal a surprisingly detailed picture of where you've been, all without you ever realizing it. Creepy works by pulling geotagged data from platforms like Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and even Flickr, collecting every check-in, photo, and status update that contains location information. Each time you post a photo or update your status with location enabled, you're adding another data point to your digital map, sometimes without even thinking about it. By analyzing this data, Creepy can reconstruct a person's travel history, daily routines, and even their favorite hangouts. It's almost like having a personal diary, but one that's open for anyone to read if they know where to look. You might be surprised at how much of your life is visible just from your public posts. 
The tool visualizes these patterns of life, making it easy to see not just where someone has been, but how often they visit certain places and at what times. This kind of analysis can reveal work schedules, home addresses, and even social habits, all from seemingly harmless posts. What's more, even old metadata hidden in your photos can betray your location. Many people don't realize that their images may contain GPS coordinates, quietly tagging where and when each photo was taken, even if the post itself doesn't mention a place. While the original creepy tool may look outdated today, the concept behind it is more relevant than ever. Modern apps and services have only made it easier to collect and analyze this kind of data, raising new questions about privacy and digital safety. Every geotagged post you make is like leaving a breadcrumb behind, creating a trail that anyone with the right tools can follow. Over time, these breadcrumbs can add up to a detailed map of your life. Creepy is a powerful reminder of how easily your real-world movements can be mapped online. It's a wake-up call to think twice before sharing your location and to take control of your digital privacy before someone else does it for you. Sherlock exploits our habit of reusing usernames. Enter a username and it checks hundreds of sites, social media, forums, niche communities for matches. In seconds, you get a list of every public profile tied to that handle. Investigators use it to build digital profiles. For individuals, it's a privacy wake-up call. Your professional and personal lives can be linked by a single username. Sherlock doesn't hack, it just automates the search. The scale and speed are what make it powerful, and a bit unsettling. Your digital identity is more connected than you think. Social Searcher is a real-time search engine for social media. Type a name, brand, or hashtag, and it pulls public posts from dozens of platforms instantly. It analyzes sentiment, top posters, hashtags, and post types, giving a high-level view of any conversation. Marketers use it for brand monitoring, but it's pure OSINT for tracking people or events. You can set up alerts and monitor mentions continuously. It's a reminder. Public posts are easily collected, analyzed, and archived. Social Searcher turns the social web into a live intelligence feed. FOCA digs for hidden data in public documents, metadata most people forget. It downloads files from a target website, then extracts info like usernames, emails, software versions, and internal network details. This metadata can reveal employee names, folder structures, and even server IPs. Attackers use it to map organizations from the inside out, using only public files. FOCA shows that OSINT isn't just about obvious data, but the invisible clues in every file. Always scrub metadata before uploading documents, otherwise, FOCA will find it. The OSINT framework isn't a tool, it's a master directory of OSINT resources. It organizes hundreds of tools by category, usernames, IPs, social media, and more. Click a topic, and it reveals every relevant tool or site guiding you through the entire OSINT process. It's invaluable for both beginners and experts, mapping the vast landscape of open source intelligence. The framework doesn't collect data. It points you to the tools that do. It's the ultimate reference for digital detectives. If you want to know what's possible, start here. Have you ever wondered just how much of your personal life is floating around online, waiting to be discovered? These 10 OSINT tools reveal just how much of your life is public sometimes in ways you might never expect. From your social media posts to your old forum comments and even your forgotten accounts, the digital breadcrumbs you leave behind can be traced, collected, and analyzed by anyone with the right tools and a bit of curiosity. All of this information can be pieced together with surprising ease, creating a detailed portrait of your online identity. It's not just about what you share intentionally, sometimes it's the little things you forget about that reveal the most. The goal here isn't to scare you, but to empower you with knowledge. Awareness is your first line of defense in the digital world. By understanding what's possible, you can take meaningful steps to protect yourself and your loved ones. Start by learning about the risks and best practices for online privacy. Understanding how your data can be accessed is the first step to keeping it safe. Be mindful of what you share online, whether it's a photo, a comment, or even just a username. Use unique usernames for different accounts to make it harder for someone to connect the dots between your profiles. And always think twice before posting content with geotags or location data. Even a single photo can reveal more about your habits and whereabouts than you might realize. These OSINT tools are incredibly powerful for defense, helping security professionals protect individuals and organizations from threats. But in the wrong hands, they can be used for malicious purposes turning your digital shadow into a vulnerability. So stay smart, stay ethical, 
and always be proactive about your digital security. Regularly review your privacy settings, update your passwords, and keep an eye on your digital footprint. Use this knowledge not just to protect yourself, but to help others stay safe online as well. Thanks for watching. Your awareness is your best defense. Let me know in the comments which OSINT tool surprised you the most, or if you have any tips for staying private online. And don't forget to subscribe for more deep dives into cybersecurity, privacy, and the hidden world of the internet. Stay safe out there.